what's good everybody i hope everybody's having a great weekend um we're here to do some more celebrity readings in this reading we're gonna do a, a celebrity reading on drake's love life all right this is something that was requested because it's definitely not something i care about <laughs> so you guys do you guys love drake so i'm gonna do it for you all right guys so we're gonna pull three cards the first card is gonna be his current love life um what's the second card is gonna be what is coming in his love life and we're gonna get some you know, advice all right guys all right so let's start off maybe i should shuffle all right first card what is Drake's current love life looking like at this moment currently at this moment what does Drake's love life look like all right guys don't forget to like share subscribe if you haven't done so already and um yeah don't forget don't don't forget to check out the description box for how to follow me on social media as well as my um email can always reach out to me for more information on prices and how to schedule your own personal readings. All right, guys. All right. So his current love life. We got the tower. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Tower. Current love life. Their third party and third party is. <sighs> yeah, Mr. Lover Boy over here. Okay, got the ten of swords. Uh, what is coming? What is what is it that is coming? Um, for Drake in regards to his love life. Oh, not looking good, lover boy. Some stress, anxiety, worry. Why though? Heartbreak. Three of swords. I was going to see what your advice is. Move away from, you know, moving away from something. All right, let's clarify, guys. All right, so that's what we got. We got his current love life. We got the Tower and the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups usually talks about party, celebration, community. Um, but paired with the tower, we got the seven of pentacles. Hold on, real quick. Delayed success. What is delayed? The Seven of Pentacles talks about, you know, waiting. Okay, maybe waiting. He's been. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me get this. Let me get to put this together. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me refocus. Okay. All right, let's kind of love life. We have the the tower. So why is the tower here? Well, no, let's start with the three of cups. What is the three of cups? What can you tell me about the three of cups? Okay. We're talking about competition. Competition in your community. Maybe for someone. Isn't he like seeing someone? I don't know who he's. Um, I shouldn't. I don't know. I, I should, I'm not sure if he's seeing anyone. It's like I thought. Yeah, like I thought he was a uh, in a in a like fairly new relationship, or at least that's kind of like what I've been. Like just rumors. I don't know if it's true. I don't even know who it is. Um, 
in his community in his community there's a lot of competition to make a love offer to someone what's the tower priestess and the eight of swords in reverse the high priestess you know this talks about secrets what's the eight of swords in reverse it's like releasing Releasing the like. Mm. Hold on, let me. What is this eight of swords? Secrets about releasing someone? Is it so, like, secrets about releasing someone is causing this anxiety because these cards are what's to come. Releasing someone is going to bring some anxiety when it comes to this collaboration, this community, this collaboration, and it's going to bring a lot of disappointment. And that's why what's to come, I'm, I'm talking about love, but it's just like it's kind of a, a ripple effect. Yeah, somebody that has money. Well, I don't have to have money. What is this? Okay, so there's a lot of competition about making this offer. It doesn't have to be a love offer. It could be, it could be a work thing, like making a proposal because the Ace of Cups, well, yeah, the Ace of Cups could talk about making a proposal. Could be, it could be work. You know, you should, you know, I don't know. If you keep up with Drake, you should you should know be able to put this energy where it belongs but like some secrets are being released that's causing a lot of anxiety because it could be it could have something to do with a work thing because right here it's like there's deception in this offer There's deception in this offer. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, where are we at? Eight minutes? Okay. So, that's his current love life. Let's look at what's coming. What is this nine of swords? Yeah. <clears throat> what is this nine of swords right here? Ah, got the tower. Like, it could be like, is he getting cut out? Or is someone cutting him out because of his deception? But whatever that is, he's worried about this tower falling. Because he got the tower twice. Ooh. Oh, lover boy. Better find someone to cuddle up with because you might need it. But I think this is what got you in trouble in the first place. What is it? What else can you tell us about? Well, what, what, let's see what we can find out about this Three of Swords. What's this Three of Swords about? What is this Three of Swords about? A lover. A lover ending something. Because they have clarity. They have clarity about something. That's going to be... 
Oh, they have clarity. This lover's going to... Maybe he's worried that and heartbroken that this lover might cut him out because, you know, she's going to get clarity. Um, it, and I'm saying she... And she's being represented by the King of Swords because the King of Swords is someone who has clarity, speaks his truth, and can be very assertive. Whereas the Queen of Swords will be a little bit more, trying to be more gentle with her words. The the King of Swords can be like no, no nonsense type shit, you know, and will end any kind of deception. And this could leave someone very disappointed. And it, it's because they're disappointed because of their their ways. You know, they they you know were living the high. He was living the high life. You know, he has all this money. He was running around acting like he was single, acting like he had all this money, um, and and almost kind of thinking that he would he could have like all this you know happiness and love on lock <laughs> he thought you know yeah somebody put an end to, to that they're like you ain't gonna fucking have, have juggle me <laughs> I got the world yeah somebody somebody's just like yeah no I'm gonna <clears throat> start my cycle a new cycle somewhere else or <clears throat> whatever new beginning I, I have is like it's I'm not gonna do it with you it could be, and that's what you could be worried about I don't think this has transpired yet or hasn't okay so let's see what this six of swords is six of swords okay let's try to keep it under 15 minutes six of swords is moving away from troubles and moving to calmer you know more peaceful place of a, a more peaceful place so what it what is it what is the six of swords this is his advice this is the advice find peace find balance retreat walk away from this reckless behavior you need balance in your life you know you need someone who's going to be a match to you um but you're not the you know okay you need to sorry um i don't know why it came out like that because i it's almost like for drake it's like he needs to like grow up and and grow up um sorry i mean mean for it to come out like that um, he needs to evolve to this emperor status because right now he might be the king of pentacles. He might have his money straight, but he's, he's a knight when it comes to his, um, sexual desires. He's very immature. Okay. If he wants an empress, if he has to be an energetic match to, to this empress, because right now He's a king of pentacles, but he's a knight of wands. He's very sexually promiscuous. He, he might have his, his money in order, whatever, you know, his finances, his, you know, his material world is in order, but he's still very immature when it comes to his sexual um, desires. He wants an empress, but he has to come to, he has to approach her at, a, at an energetic match because right now he's not so this could be somebody also moving away from him because the, you know here's this like flame this fire this you know that's what you know he could you know probably the death card somebody ended something Somebody could would uh, could be ending something with him. Yeah, judgment's being called. What's the Ace of Swords? The Ace of Swords talks about truth and clarity. Yeah, somebody's communicating something. Um, it's almost like putting up boundaries because it's like 
if I don't put up these boundaries, I'm going to be, you know, beaten down and battered um, energetically. That is, you know, because of this, this situation, there's a lot of juggling going on. There's too much juggling. Yeah. The, you know, it's like, no, I'm not going to proceed forward. You know, this, this, you know, happy, um, because he's the king of pentacles. He can, he can provide a beautiful, um, life, you know, the, the, the aesthetic of it, it can be very beautiful and to the eye, it might be like, oh, that's what my happiness is. But this person's like, yeah, there's not going to be any forward movement. There's because, you know, I already know what's to come. There's going to be juggling. There's going to be, you know, I'm going to get beat down, you know, being in this situation. I'm going to be hurt because there's a lot of deception. This, this person could be offering a sweet proposal, um, pretending to be a king of cups who's mastered their emotions. But the truth is they're, they're behind the scenes. They're toxic. And this is Drake and somebody could be getting clarity about him. So that's what, that's what it's saying. All right, guys. Well, I didn't keep it under 15 minutes. It's now 16 going on. <laughs> 17. All right. Yeah. Juggling again. The third, um, getting beat up the third party. Um, somebody's communicating. Um, this is all, this is all to come, you know, a lot of heartache because, you know, like I said, Drake might have be the king of pentacles, but he's not the, he, he's, he's a knight when it comes to, um, relationships. He's very immature. You know, he doesn't know how to, how to control his urges, his passions. You know, he, he, instead of controlling that and channeling it into something, um, he, he just allows himself and that, that not being able to control that brings a lot of chaos in your life. You know, always having a third party always brings a lot of chaos in your life. It brings anxiety, stress, fear, worry, heartbreak, and, and spirits here to say, Hey, you don't want that shit. You got to move away from it. Plain and simple. You know, you want a happy, um, um, secure, fulfilling life, you know, and you know, that's not what you have to desire. You know, not everybody desires that, but this is what this could be what he desires at some point, but he's, you know, I've been seeing this, this a lot where people are too, so afraid to let go of their toxic ways. And that's, what's blocking them from getting like beautiful blessings from coming in. It's really you know, refusing to, to, um, release that toxicity, you know, and, and that's the, that's the deal that, you know, some people make with the devil, you know, they, they just refuse to let go. Um, so, well, that's what I'm saying here. The truth is he needs to move away from that way of being because this fake, um, you know, squeaky clean, you know, type of image he tries to put off like the good boy is you know it's, it's you know it's not it's not i don't know it, it could have some people fooled but whoever this person is it's not fooling them you know it's not and it, this person can call that shit out real quick so that's that's what i got guys for drake's love life Whew. okay so you guys if you guys the ones that requested this put it down if you can, put it down in the comments and tell me who he's... Well, I can Google that. But put it down anyways. Maybe maybe you, you guys could tell me. Give me a little bit more information. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I'm, I'm going to leave this one here. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the description box uh, for how to... Sh um, links on how to, follow, how to follow me on social media as well as um, my email. Alright guys, um, if not, I'll see you guys next time.